Good morning. How are you all? Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to have a play with another dragonfly, this little guy. And I'm thinking because of the size of his wings, he might be good for ribbon. So I just want to have a little look in here. I'm, I'm really thinking about a variegated ribbon so then we get to see, you know, some interest within him. What's this down the bottom? I don't think I really want to do a red one again. I'm trying to make them all a little bit different. What about orange? What's this here? Fire dance. There's a bit. I might use this bit. We could be really fuchsia. Look at that. Oh, I love that color. So I did go with pink. <laughs> Let's try the pink and the orange. Okay. I've got Pepper here beside me. She's inside at the moment and she's got a paw on my leg tapping me, you have to say. Touch me, Mum. Don't ignore me, Mum. Okay. I need to ignore her just for that split second and then she's like, oh, okay, I've lost control of the human. <laughs> Let's get ourselves all threaded up here. Does it need ironing? Yeah, I think it does. Let's just hold the horse for a moment and iron it. <clears throat> and being that we're going to be doing long, um, long stitches for these wings, it's probably good we do iron it because and you should anyway, you should give your ribbons a little bit of a an iron before you start. I've got this huge blooming needle. I might try that one there. That's better. When I finished the video of this one, I went looking for the two beads and I was just frustrated with the fact that none of the beads were the same. It's just a cheap pack of um, of beads from Spotlight. So you can't, you know, they're going to be all different sizes for sure. And I sat there for about 10 minutes going through them all, trying to get two that were the same size and they just were so all so different. And I thought, no. Nah. <clears throat> I will um, think of something else. So I went to the black cotton and I found a, a thick crochet cotton. Um, and I thought That's, that'll do. So I did two French knots. So I will probably change over to something like that. Now, how am I going to do this? Maybe I iron, <clears throat> I'm going to iron out the, purely because they're gone and I don't have to worry about trying to iron them out once the ribbon's in place because if you apply heat to the ribbon, it will adjust the way it lays on the fabric as well. on ourselves. I really want that changing colour. It's a waste of ribbon, I know, but I'd like to have the pink coming through. Let's just get this around so I can see our, our little, see how it's changing color there to the orangey pink. I'd like to see that on the top 
on both sides evenly spread. So a bit of orange this side. And then a lot of, now I've got to come up here. I just hope I've got enough ribbon to pull this off. <clears throat> Should do. Isn't that pretty? Oh, have I got enough? Oh, it's going to be so, so, so close. So I've lost a lot of ribbon in behind. Oh, goodness me. I don't know if this was a bright idea or not. Let's see how we go. I can always stitch that down because it's not going to be knotted down. There we go. Oh, lover. She's very dainty, isn't she? <clears throat> now, what we'll do is we'll use some thread. Let's get rid of that black stitch as well. That was just to save the, the to remind me to tell you of what I did with the eyes as another option is just a couple little French knots. So let's, you'll probably hear Pepper trotting around. Hey Pep, it's a good girl. She's having a bit of inside time with mum. Okay, a few extra cuddles today. It's a good girl. Okay. Let's just lay that ribbon there and with a few sneaky little stitches that'll hold it into position. Remember these are going to be fussy cut out as little elements to pop on future projects. So they will sit onto something so the backs will be protected. <laughs> Who knows where they'll end up. I tell you I saw a grasshopper on Pinterest made out of ribbon? Gosh, he was fancy. Very clever how they laid the ribbon in position. I might leave that on for a moment until we work out what we're going to do in the middle. What are we going to do in the middle? <clears throat> what have we got in the way of beads? We'd need little itty bitty beads. We could probably do a gold. Let's have a look at these. Oh, that would keep him nice and dainty. I think he needs a couched edge, but now I've got beads everywhere. Something to keep the, um, Pepper, what are you doing? She's sniffing around. Just stay out of trouble, will you? Um, now I sort of think we need a little couched edge. What's in our colorful box of tricks? Just grab this this cotton maybe even just some I don't know love it when I just don't know what I'm going to do and I just why can't I find a needle I've got so many projects that have acquired a needle with them that now I'm left with barely any needles yeah I've got no real plan here. Um, it's got such a long body, doesn't it? What do we do? I feel like I'm going to back stitch. Or do I satin stitch?
um, <laughs> I think I'm going to back stitch an edge right around the little guy. Let me just get this needle out of the way that's threaded here. Potentially four beads. But we'll do a, a split back stitch. Sorry, I'm just thinking a million thoughts. And we'll outline his little little body. Then we've got to decide what we do in the middle. Do we do a satin stitch that scoots over the split back stitch from the exterior either side, you know, so it encompasses it, helps raise it up. But is that too much? Or is it not enough, as in height? Maybe we should be doing some beads. Put a bit of bling down the center of his back. But it's such a narrow, such a narrow little body. The beads might, <clears throat> the beads might not look right. But he's a skinny little guy, this, this little fellow. And I'm thinking his tail, we might couch some oranges together, some, see if we can find a, I'm not exactly finishing my sentences, am I? Let's give him a little bottom there. I'm actually quite impressed at how many little things you can do to a dragonfly. Like he's the tiniest of little creatures. Oh gosh, the other day I filmed this guy. That night I hopped onto Facebook and my friend and his sister have sold a farm down near Armadale. And in the process, no, sorry, I'll start again. They haven't sold the farm. They've sold a heap of blocks that they subdivided the family farm. Now, mum is in a nursing home. Dad passed away. He was the farmer. So as the three of them, the family, they decided they would split this uh, family farm into about seven or eight five-acre allotments because it's right on the edge of town down near Armadale, rural, country, rural large country town. Anyway, that has pretty much set the kids up, the, the son and the daughter, and mum, who's in the nursing home now, will be set up as well. So anyway, the process has taken years to do. The council down there has just put them through the ringer. Oh, they're just unorganised and... All sorts of shady stuff was put upon them and they were just applaud, appla what's the word? Not happy, <laughs> disgusted with what they had to go through to do the project. Long story short is the project is done and they're finally all sold, done. Gosh, they even had, I think, an accountant that took deposits or took some money that was in trust. Uh, it was just... It was years of just grief to the point where, like, why did we ever think of doing this? So it's been hard to watch the process unfold. Roll forward to just, gosh, where am I heading with this story? They, they've got it all sorted. And now the kids, well, the son and the daughter, who are in, you know, mid-50s, have moved to some degree to... Um, Bali, Indonesia, somewhere on one of the islands, and they've bought a run-down villa complex and they're in the process of um, renovating it up and it's just going to be not only their base when they're over that way, 
because they've got a lot of friends over in that country because they've always holidayed there as family. And then as these two have grown up, they've continued to holiday there. So it's just become a very big part of their lives. So they, they sort of scoot between Australia and their, their new base over there. And of course, they will be there one day permanently. That's the plan. So it's been fun watching them do up this villa and all the trials and tribulations of being in a foreign country doing it. And I thought doing it in a um, country town was hard. So you imagine what it's like in a foreign country. But anyway, they're up for the challenge. I've just lost my needle. Pepper, don't move. I've just flicked a very fine needle somewhere. Oh my goodness. So where I'm heading with the story is I finished filming my dragonfly and here's Belle. Pops up on Facebook over in... Um, Oh, it's not barley. It's, oh, I can't remember the name of it. And she's got a dragonfly that has landed on her hat. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So here I am zooming in on this dragonfly going, oh, what's that all about? How's he look? What's he doing? How's he stand? I was like, hi, Belle. What's this dragonfly all about? He was so cute. He was sitting on her hat. And her face, she was just beaming. It was just so beautiful to see how settled she looks. It's like years of stress trying to sort out the family estate and this property. And I think they were starting to wish they hadn't divided the blocks. And But anyway, it's all finished and they're on the next chapter of their lives, this brother and sister. And it's just oh, so good. And that dragonfly, oh, just looked great. Now, I have flicked a needle onto the floor. Oh, there it is. Very good. Oh, I was just about to look at stopping the video and going and hunting out this needle. I'm thinking I will go down the track of these little sparkly beads. I'm hoping. Now, the question is, do I go a pile? I'll go more gold. I think I'm going to go pale. I just don't feel like it's a blingy gold type of project. But before I do, I just want to have a look in here. What other oranges do we have that might be fun? Do I'm thinking tails now. I sort of wanna maybe we do something with this. That might get the pink in. I sort of felt like I oh yeah. Let's give him a bit of sparkle, guys. Alright. We have a plan for our little guy. I might actually get this one finished within the video instead of having homework. So yeah, now I'm seeing dragonflies everywhere. It's always the way, isn't it? Would have not registered in any way with me. But because we're stitching dragonflies, I'm now seeing dragonflies. Now these are like clear yellowy gold beads. I put three on just for the, for the speed of time. Oh yeah. They look cool. It's just not as bright. We're just backing it off with these little ambery toned beads. I might do another three. This is giving me a nice lineal line down the center of his back. I'm liking that. There we go. Oh, now I've got a bead that won't go on the needle. Can't wait to find projects for these little dragonflies. 
I'm thinking about bees. And when we finish the dragonflies, I think we're going to do some bees. They'd be handy to have. And sort of you have a plan for a, a section of their body and then once you get a little bit of, bit of it done it gives you another idea and you, so you start really playing with the dragonfly. I think I will continue with the beads all the way. I didn't do a second stitch through that lot. Oops. there's one there that doesn't slide two there that don't slide I need to get my needles and refresh them just don't know where they all disappear to oh I was stitching the other day on a couch in another room as I was on a call with a mate <clears throat> And it was quite uncomfortable actually because it's just not supportive of the back. It's a bit of a decorative lounge. Looks good but horrible to sit on. One of those types of lounges. And it's in a room that we don't really use much. It's not our daily area, of course. You wouldn't be able to because the couch looks good but it's horrible to sit on. Anyway, um, I was in there for about an hour and a half on a phone call, you'd be yabbering away, stitching. And I've grabbed everything to go back to our main lounge, join my husband and continue stitching. And it was about two days later, I was down walking past that couch on my way to the laundry. And I just happened to glance across to it and I could see something twinkling in the light. And I thought, what is that? I've left something behind. And you know what I left behind? A needle, a big needle. And it's just sitting out of the cushion where if you sat down on it, oh my goodness. I think everyone knows, but when they come to my house, they need to just double check everywhere because it's high likelihood there's a needle sticking out. It's terrible. Lucky Gaz didn't see it. He gives you that look. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't say a lot. But he just looks at you to go, really? You know the look? Really? That's what he's saying with his eyes. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. It's a serious matter, isn't it? <laughs> oh, bad girl. Bad, bad girl. Oops another little bead I left behind. So I'm doing three at a time. And because he's so narrow, I'm doing a bit of a lineal, lineal line straight down his back. Oh, it's made him a little bit glamorous. He's a bit cute. Oh, little sweetie. Getting to the pointy end, and I'm thinking I'll probably only be able to get two beads in on the opposite side, and that will do. Okay, so there's his little body, and even then, we might even 
put some bullion knots over the beads. This is an idea that just popped into the peanut. was zooming in for this guy and I found it quite uncomfortable to stitch due to the position of it where if I just bring this up to the camera I'm hoping you can see enough but I know you're all busy stitching it's only the newbies that are watching and I hope you can see enough guys all right I think we are there I think we need one more bead, actually. Just to fill that in. Close the lid. There we go. Yes. Oh, you glamorous little one. Now, what we might do is I'm going to leave that attached still because we might couch down. Oh, yes. Oh. Beautiful. There's an orangey, yellowy tone here before it goes into greens. And I think we can capture. Where's my big needle? Capture that. Look at it. Oh, I don't want any of the pinks. All right. Gosh, it's soft. There's like a foil gold thread plaited in around it. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Very delicate, mind you. Can I thread it? I'm gonna need a bigger needle. It's only going to, where's that needle I rejected earlier? It's only going to um, stress out the, oh, there's Reginald. Reg, I haven't seen you for ages. He's sitting down the bottom here. I really need to make myself a new pin cushion, guys. Oh my goodness. That thing, I've had it for ages and it's now sitting in a plastic container that had Ferrero Rocher chocolates. And you can see why, because of all the bits that keep falling off. It's the worst design pin cushion. But I can at least pop a lid on that and take it with me. And it's sort of, I don't know, it works. It's not logical, but it works. Okay, so let's come up here. Oh, I don't like the pink. Nope, 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 nope. So I need to change it so that the knot is at this end, because we want the yellow. yellow and the orange. I think we could even come up here higher with that knot to really get into those. It's so delicate. It's like a, a coiled thread. It's very unusual. So these really fancy threads that I've got here are from Steph Francis. I believe she was in the UK, her website under her name. Yeah, that's better. That's going to have it more the colours I want. And what we'll do, I think, is we'll do two two laps of it. We might as well use this beautiful thread. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Do we do another lap? Can we get another lap? Hmm. 
this will be that pinky yellow orangey <gasps> yes now knotting this off oh my gosh this is going to be a challenge just bear with me guys i'll couch it down so it'll be nice and secure but in the meantime i've just got to get some form of knot happening here so delicate right that's pretty good and now if i come through with that thread and just put some itty bitty stitches in there just to secure it and it won't be going anywhere then so if you've got some fancy threads I can see that white stitch so I'll space it out evenly then we'll come back with another thread and put something over those white threads so that it looks like little tail joints because so I've got a bit of a segmented tail about them dragonflies so yeah if you've got some fancy threads dragonflies are a great way to play with them because you don't need much thread it's not like you're doing a major project so you can grab out some cotton that's a bit special thread textured thread and have a little stitch There we go. So I've inadvertently created sections. Well, I like how that's a bit bigger at the bottom. Let's leave it at that. We're not going to go right to the bottom. I might just bring that tail up and stitch that down while we're there P E P P E R is now sleeping beside my foot and she's got a, a bit of a, a snore happening and I can feel a wet nose on the top of my foot cute little hound she shouldn't even really be in here she's been snuck in by mum for a little cuddle There we go. Oh, love it. Can you see that? So what I'm thinking is we use this because it's ever so fine. And do we want to go more of the orange or more of the yellow? I'm thinking the yellow because we've got a lot of orange already. So let's get a needle. Alrighty. Okay. I think I could do with a couple more stitches up this end just to make that body connect a little bit better. Okay. Now I'm just aiming for all the spots that that thread is that couched down. Like I would have gone for a bullion stitch, but I don't think I need it because, oh, my finger is sore. I need a thimble. Hang on. 
developing a very tender spot on my fingers. So I've got to wear the thimble for at least a week to protect my finger because it's just getting very tender. So yeah, I would have probably done a bullion stitch here, but because he's such a fine little fellow, I don't think we need it. And I'll use this thread for his little V at the back. Now we're doing his little tail, his little... Well, I should do a bit of a deep dive into the name of all the bits and pieces on a dragonfly, shouldn't I? Do we need to know that? <laughs> Is that information our brains need to have? There we go. Oh, he's so cute. I wonder if I can use this thread for his head. I might. Seeing we've got a little bit left... We might knot that off and then I'll scoot up the top here Should be just enough to do something up there. What will we do? Maybe some little French knots. Little tiny French knots. There's a pen mark there. We might as well grab that while we're at it. There's no way I can iron that thread of, of um, Steph Francis because the foil that they've wound through that I think that would melt. I think I'd have a hang of a mess. Maybe we do a colonial knot. Yep. Just a couple. Three, I think we'll get the point we need. Oh, I love him. Doesn't the ribbon do a beautiful job? Okay, so let's knot that off. I can see more ribbon wings in my future. Let's, let's talk eyes. Gosh, we need the tiniest of eyes. Because he's so little. Once again, um, just to remind you that his legs will be added to his body when he finds his home on the item that he's going on to. That's sort of part of the construction of him is his legs will attach him to that item. Why can't I thread this needle? It's like furry. Ugh. All right, we need to get some more black. It's down the end of the table and I've got a doggy here. I think the next one might be a turquoise color. I don't know. I feel like we could do something in the blues and turquoises. 
just need a little bit of stranded cotton. Probably two strands. He's only little. Get rid of one, two. Put that one back. That will be enough. And I might even just pop this black thread, you know, up the top corner there so it's there for next time. All right, so what we want is two little Two little eyes. I'm doing the same as before. It's only little. Boom. There we go. I'm going to sneeze. Hang on, guys. Sorry about that. I'm back. That was a quick bolt. <laughs> Could feel it coming at the beginning of the video and nothing happened and then suddenly bam one sneeze tiny itty bitty eyes you are so cute mm. these guys are so much fun they just feel like a little stitch and you don't want to do anything on a big project just do a couple dragonflies and I think they're going to come in handy one day. I, I suspect they'll go on to my um, Botanical Beauties project because it's all flowers and I can just see a smattering of butterflies floating above them all. Um, but, you know, who knows? I'm going to leave that black cotton in there. And this bit... We'll just attach up here. Then I got it for next time. I'm a bit bit off my beads because they're all different shapes. Which is a bit frustrating. Now, what else can we do to our little one? I sort of feel like I could do something with a bullion knot across his body, but I don't know. Do we need it? He's so fine. I'm wondering if I go and do that, just looking at all these great colours here. If I go and do that, are we going to make him look too chunky? Mm. Can't help myself. Oh, there's a yellow, Sue Spargo yellow there. No, let's sort of feel like we could be a, a little bit bold. So it picks up that colour in his wing. There's a bit cut off. Okay, let's give it a go. What could possibly go wrong? If we don't like it, we just remove it. It is going to be a challenge to do it because we've got raised beads in our way. So it might be something that's not going to happen. But what we could do is a little bit of satin stitch oh yeah oh yeah 
it's these little details that make your little dragonflies look really cute. So I've done just two stitches. I'm not going to do the bullion knot because there's this raised beads in my way. So I feel like it would be a bit of a challenge. The two stitches over that torso is just enough of a detail, I think. some more might even then pop one between his head and his neck just to carry that orange I like it it's really tied in together with a bit more of the orange and giving his little torso a little bit more detail yeah I love him Let's come right up to the back of his neck. Maybe we could do a little bullion knot there for a little extra detail. Let's come through again with that needle, trying not to pierce it. It's fiddly when it's in a frame. There we go. At least we got one on him. Just over his shoulders. It's like a little scarf for him. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh it's like hold your breath. We have one orange dragonfly. Just knotting it off if you're wondering where I've gone. Here we go. Oh, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Look at that. You see? Oh, oh I love them. Love them. Can't wait to cut them out and use them. Beautiful. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to leave you alone. It's a bit short of video today, but that's okay. Go and do some housework because you've probably been all stitching too long and you've got housework to do. So I know I have. So I better go and do something constructive with my day other than stitching. <laughs> all right, guys. Look after yourselves. Bye for now.